Big stories smell better. When I get back, I'll have a word with Tom. He's really pissed me off this time. you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not s silence the land called silence. I'm tired of all these puppet shows. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. It's locked, all right.
So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Stop calling me that. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. My sister... Vengeance is... In the end, she implores... I am so sorry. There is no need to... Thank you, my friend. I swear... That is the sun... What do you mean? I... I came to the... How have you... Re he is the only... Em I am afraid you are... I felt this power... Most ancestral... Va you have no idea who... Some of the ancient ones fled... I think I should ask the questions, your lady. Fair enough, Jonathan. Please do not misunderstand... If we survive the Dark Knight... I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast and make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, 
Call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver a... Who are they? They are the embodied... How many? Only a small n Will they fight the guard? I doubt it. F Why use you to contact? Because they know we are... Have they threatened? Not at all. Why not ask for your... You have to understand that I am... Should I try... Of course not. Why me? Because nothing true... Should I lie to them? We all lie. They have done nothing but impede... I guess they now see you as Ascar. I'm not sure I can accept... You have no choice, Jonathan. What can you tell me? Lord Redgrave is... Have you met... Only on rare occasions. How old is he? Lord Redgrave. How powerful... The Ascalon Club. They are not... The club is main... Any familiar as the richest? If you are convinced, I must meet. Thank you, Jonathan. Is the situation that yes? Will the guard? I doubt it. I think I to launch another. Should we fight? I admire you. What is a great? The first great. Why start? Prewen has always. How did you survive? I fled, John. You should flee then. Your concern warms. Thank you for the offer. I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave. What is the. The plan is. How can I. The epidemic. What will you. I still have contact. Will I. Maybe not, Jonathan. Please forgive. Oh, Jonathan. You have no idea. Even if I had my... One day soon. And I shall help you in your research. Will I see you again at the... No. You will find me here if you need me. I shall... Will you not... No. But how will you... I shall not... When... As soon as you meet Lord Red... I want to thank you. Could you do me a last great favor? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is... Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon.